Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. What a day. It's a freak show. It's a shit show, freak show, combination of the two. So, yeah, it is Friday, January 29th, 2021. Well, where to start? How about with the markets? It's always just good to start there. Stocks fell under pressure today. Dow Jones Industrial Average down over 600 points. Okay. Okay. What does it mean? Apparently, a lot of you out here believe this is it. This is really the big one. And where do I get this from? Well, correspondence. People writing to me, lighting up my email box. Um, but, but again, where are you getting this from? Sure, Mark has been under a little pressure lately. Actually, it's been up and down all, all over the place. But today we sold off. But somewhere out here, people are being convinced that this is it. I can tell you right here, and again, it's not the big one. Why? Because the big one is going to start in the debt market. People, as many times as I say this, and I, 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 I say it all the time, people don't get it. It's the debt market, which is the, the linchpin here for everything, okay? Um, the 10-year yield right now, 1.08. The big one will happen. You will see it. When the 10-year yield spikes rapidly and uncontrollably, what we're seeing here in the market is a normal correction, 5%, 10%, 20%. This is normal. Normal. People are just not used to it. Um, because again, the market seems to do nothing but go up. As people that are in this market, you must understand that markets don't always just go straight up. You have to understand there are going to be corrections and you use these to your advantage. I, I cover this all the time. Anyway, the big stink here is what brokerages are doing. And today I got slammed upside down, backwards and sideways from outraged traders who are unable to trade. Uh, or, or or have their ability to trade severely curtailed. Let's talk about that in a second. Um, let me say this. This cannot happen. This can't happen. A brokerage cannot just say, hey, you know what? We're just going to restrict your trading. When you When you apply to trade options, okay, they rate you on your ability to trade. Once you get a certain rating, okay, uh, you should be allowed to trade freely and without restriction, but that's not what's happening here. Retail traders are being severely restricted and curtailed from trading, and it's not fair. Why? Because institutional traders have no such restrictions. Now, with that in mind, GameStop today put on another 65%. Being that retail traders are being severely restricted from trading, hmm, how is it that retail traders are causing all the problems here? How about no? This is not retail traders. Today's rise in GameStop was clearly institutional traders. Was it you? Was it me? We can't even trade these things. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? So what they're doing here is blaming the retail trader. Oh, it's his fault. Oh, it's her fault. Meanwhile, most brokerages right now are restricting trades with regard to GameStop, for example. And I'm talking about GME right now. Um, so let's see. It's interesting, isn't it? Trades are being restricted. Uh, as a matter of fact, Robinhood is only allow, allowing you to buy one share. What could possibly be pushing GME up 65% again today? Should be a no-brainer, people. This is not what it seems. Like I always tell you, it's not what it seems. There's something else going on here. Now, with regard to brokerages that are that are curtailing your trades or restricting your trades, dump them. Dump them all. What did I do today? You see, I put my money where my mouth is. I don't just come out here and, and say things to you. Today, I closed 
every single position I had open and I pulled my account at TD Ameritrade. Not because they specifically hurt me, I didn't get hurt at all. But what I did see right across my trading platform today was they were instituting trade restrictions. This can't be allowed to happen. Let's say for example, you're in trade XYZ. You're doing great. You want to sell that trade. All of a sudden, you find out, click, click, doesn't go through. Why? You just got your account restricted. It's not right. It's not fair. It cannot happen. Once you reach a certain rating, all right, with regard to trading options, I go all over this all in my, in my new book, A Not-So-Random Walk on Wall Street. There, there's a link in the description of this video right off my website. Once you get rated, you should be able to trade according to that rating, not whatever they want to conjure up with out of their out of thin air. Because clearly today, just today, for example, this was not the retail trader who pushed GME up 65% because we're not being allowed to trade. Okay? This is institutional traders, but the blame is going on retail traders. People, do you see the setup here? It should be in your freaking face. Okay, let's move forward here. Gold and silver doing really well. Cryptocurrencies doing very, very well here. Uh, the 10 year yield remains the key, people. When you're getting all afraid that this is the big one, look at the 10 year yield. What can I tell you? I set this all up for you. So you don't even have to go crazy looking for it. Right down here, traderschoice.net, top of the second page, 10-year yield in real time. Watch that 10-year yield. 1.08 today. It did not spike uncontrollably. It's not going up and up and up and up. No. This tells us clearly that this is not the big one. And that doesn't even matter. We are in a corrective phase. That's the truth. To me, this is opportunity. As a matter of fact, despite, despite the fact that I closed all my positions today and pulled my account because I refuse to be, well, screwed over by a brokerage that's going to tell me how to... I have the highest rating attainable with regard to options trading. I have proven over the years that I can beat the game. You cannot get a higher rating than I do with regard to trading options. But that does not mean that they can pull something like this on me at one point. They can say, hey, Greg, you know what? You can't trade this. I'm not allowing that to happen. you got to be preemptive. Sometimes, sometimes how you beat the market is to get out of it. You get out of it and you let the shit show play out. I believe we're in a corrective phase. Could you short the market here? Maybe, but I don't think so. Because, again, just because a market is in a correction doesn't mean that's a necessary opportunity to go short you me i would short this market only when i believe the big one is coming until that time i'm going to be looking for opportunities to go long and i will continue to post what i think are opportunities for for you lions out here in my newsletter again link in the description of this video but for me i'm sitting out of here what i will be doing with capital that i did pull today uh, I will be allocating that into precious metals, some of it. I will allocate some of that into cryptocurrencies, some of it. And I'll, I'll just stay in cash. Cash is a position. Do I like to be in cash? Zero. No. Absolutely. You know that. But sometimes you got to sit back and reevaluate what's going on until this thing works itself out. And I'm not talking about the market. Yes, we're in a corrective phase, I think. I'm talking about these brokerages. Get rid of them. Any one of them that is restricting your ability to trade, got to go. It's got to go. You find another brokerage to put your cash to work. It's that simple. Pull it. Hashtag pull it. Um, look, I wish so badly that you and I were able to take this market down. But the fact of the matter is we're up against a monster. That monster is the Federal Reserve who's going to continue buying it all, setting the stage for the stock market to go higher. They're going to buy it all. That's what they're doing right now. Um, is it possible that we could maybe put a dent in it if we decide to dump our positions? There's, I don't think there's enough people that would do it. Honestly, if, 
if the retail investor out here, you and me, were literally to pull all our positions, yeah, we could seriously hurt this market. But the fact of the matter is, there's not enough people to do it. There's not enough to do it. So what do we do? Well, we figure out an alternative, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find a brokerage. From what I understand, Fidelity is not restrict, restricting trades. All right. Uh, that's interesting to know. But anyway, look, I, I think you get the picture here. You see what's going on here. It's in our face. And again, let's just put GME or GameStop, <laughs> GameStop back into perspective. Gained 65% today. Meanwhile, most brokerages are restricting retail traders from, from trading. Who's driving it higher? I want you to think about it. All right, people, look. I'm out of here. This is Friday. Um, you won't see me until Sunday for my markets to look ahead. I plan on being here. And it's going to be lovely. Think about the things I covered here in this video. It's important. Share this video. And I'm going to leave you off with my favorite three things. Love each other. Care about each other. Be charitable. I'll see you Sunday for my markets to look ahead.